Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time stopping by, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up if you like my content and it helps my little channel grow. I have went ahead and bought an item, so perhaps you didn't have to. What do I mean by that? I know we've all seen this Lucy drawing tool. It pops up on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. I see ads for this. Finally, I broke down and thought, I'm just going to buy one. We're going to go through it together. We're going to see if it even works, if it's worth it. I think I got some kind of accessory with it, too. I can't remember. It's It uh, got delivered a few weeks ago. So I really, I think I bought something to a large pictures. I can't remember. Let's both go through this so you know whether this works and if it's worth the money or not. Okay. Appears to be nicely packaged. Hooks to your table. Oh, there's the little view finder situation. Oh, nice. We have a nice size bag with two different pockets on it to carry it and store it. That's a nice touch. I don't think I ordered that separately. Um, oh, okay. I did get a photo and larger. I did buy this accessory. Here's the little... Ooh, that's heavy. That's sturdy. Um, it hooks to the base and the viewfinder. I'm not really sure. And a manual. It is very important to watch the detailed instruction videos. Okay? Uh, well, let's go through the instructions first, and then I'll watch the video, and we'll go from there. Okay, those videos were fantastic. I know you're going to see my light over here, but I don't see this working any other way. So the videos did help. They are very useful. And all I had to do was loosen up this Phillips head here, and then I got my Lucy to go into the projector part of this. Um, it comes with two filters. Um, they said if you want to make things brighter, you put it on the bottom. If you want to dim it, you put it on the top, and you can also add them both together, depending on what you need. I'm not sure yet, so I'm not going to add these quite yet. I also got the photo enlarger. I did watch a video on that. I'm glad I got this. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see if this works. Okay, to make this easier, I put a little fake hand up here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. All right, now in real life, this is much clearer. However, so you can see the hand that's in front of me. This is where these filters come in. For one thing, in real life, you can see this much better, but so when you put a filter on it, see how much easier you can see that. And you can double it up to be very clear, crystal clear. And you can put it on the bottom, which makes the image lighter, and the top makes it dimmer. But if you add too many filters, You can see that part, but if you add too many filters, you can't see your own pencil. So you got, I mean, just it depends on how far away you are from it, all kinds of things. But that's how those filters work, and there's little screws on the top and bottom, so you can put these on depending on your light situation. So yeah, look at that. Uh, I'm going to say that's a win, a win situation. Let me see. Yeah. So that's completely in front of me, and what you are looking at is my paper down below. That is great. And of course, if you have these filters up farther, you don't just get... There we go. 
having problems focusing. Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm sorry for making you guys sick. I don't know where to put this so it'll focus. Anyway, I think you guys can see how well it works. You can completely see that hand. And you can go ahead and draw your subject. And what I'm going to use this for is basically to get in my shapes. Um, I'm trying to save time with this. I already know how to draw. I've been doing it my whole life. I've got down the fundamentals. Usually if I'm doing something detailed, I use a grid method, but that takes forever. So I'm hoping to speed up some of my processes with this. Now I got an attachment. So let me take these down. And you can use the attachment with these, by the way. And I got the photo enlarger. And this, oh, all right, so I got the photo enlarger situation. And how it's going to hook is I'm going to put my picture here. It's uh, going to attach. Here's my magnifier, kind of like this. And it goes on the front of the Lucy. So I'm going to attach it and then um, try to show you what it looks like. By the way, my photo is going to go right here. I'm going to attach uh, this guy, just something, so we can demonstrate this. Right, so this is from up above. Can you see what's going on here? So this actually holds the photo away from the Lucy. Here's the magnifier, it's attached to the front. If we need filters, we can of course attach it to the front, or we can still attach it to the bottom. As you can see, there's a place for it at the bottom too. All right, let me see if I can get a side view. Okay, there's my messy studio. That's what it looks like from the side. Okay, let me see if I can get you to focus in on this. I'm going to try to get you to see this. Now, I had to move my studio lights to give the picture enough light for the camera to pick it up. And there is a big difference between in real life and what my camera is picking up through this little viewfinder. So right now, you can't really see much, right? Now, in real life, I can barely see the outline of my flowers. Now, I've got it hooked up at the bottom to put the filter back around. And this is both of them. Just so you can see. Hopefully. Yeah, my camera isn't focusing. But in real life, you can see my pencil. Now, in real life, I would only have one filter on, but I had to have both of them to show you. But you can see, you can outline your flowers, get your shapes down. Um, it is much more clear in real life. I wonder if I... Oh, okay, maybe. There's just so many glares in here. I'm, I'm, I apologize. I don't know how else to show you this. But uh, maybe this is a little better. But yeah, I even think that you can watercolor. Um, if you're doing something really loose, but you really like the placement of these flowers, you can go ahead and maybe drop some colors in and stuff. Um, it may not just be a drawing tool. That'd be neat. But yeah, I can definitely see these shapes to sketch in things. Um, yeah, this is, uh, surprisingly, this is going to be a two thumbs up from me. This does work. I would suggest not filming a video through this viewfinder. Um, but yeah, and if you do get this, uh, it does make a difference where your light source is. Here, let me bring you up. Right now I have it coming from slightly behind me, but um, that's what the dimming and lighting is for on these filters. Let me see. So here's the filters, and you can actually just leave them on and just swing them out to the side as needed. So I'm probably going to leave them both just down there and switch them back and forth. Uh, in real life, you don't need both if you have decent lighting. Um, I didn't know what else to film because it's kind of weird, my camera up facing that thing. But um, yeah, guys, I think if you're interested in this, I'm going to have the prices. I'll put them up above here. This was the mini. There was a larger one. I'm not sure what the larger purpose would be. Maybe just easier to see or look through the viewfinder. Maybe it's larger. Um, I don't anticipate doing huge masterpieces with this. This is a tool for me just to speed up my sketch process for a final piece. I would definitely get the photo enlarger with it if you're going to do this. I think that's almost a must. And when you, I guess this little bag here comes with the photo enlarger so you can keep all your parts in here, which I thought was a very nice touch. All right, guys, I already said this is a thumbs up. It actually works. 
you're interested, I'll have that information down below where you can get the Lucy. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Um, they have no idea I'm making this video, but I am going to probably use this quite a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down below what you think about this uh, art accessory, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!